Okay, so what we have here is uh, my main program where I'm going to start the SARA application. But what we need to do first is we need to uh, add a page so you can navigate. And it's really not a page. It is a form. It's going to be just like this right here. So if you go to your Solution Explorer, go to the name of your project, right click and go to add and then right here you're going to click on window okay and i'm going to leave it as window one is like what i explained in the email but whatever you name this let's say it's like settings or uh more information or whatever then that's the name that you're going to use i'm just going to leave it as window one for an example <clears throat> Okay, so you see that it builds the window and it's exactly like the uh, main window here. It's the exact same thing, so the design would be pretty much the same way. Okay, now on our main window, what we want to do is we want to add a button. Okay, and then uh, that's in the main window or the window one XAML, and then our main window, we want to add a button, okay, which is we don't have a button there. We got two buttons. All right, so let's take one button out like so. All right. This is window one. And then in our main window, we are going to add a button as well. All right, now we have our button. You want to click on the properties and you want to go, this is what you'll be seeing. You want to go to the lightning bolt, which is your events. Double click the click event. Okay, so now we're going to put in window one. We're just going to put window equals new window one, like so. Okay, now we have created a new instance of window one. All right, so now all we have to do is call win dot, and then you have show, and then you also have show dialog. If you read, it says opens a window and it returns without waiting for a newly opened window to close. All right, show dialog is to open the window and it returns only when the newly opened window is closed. So what we want to do is we want to do show dialog. Like so. Alright, now if we run the application, we're gonna have some options to play with here. Okay, you have your main window. You click the button and your second window comes up. You click exit, it goes back. Now, the problem with this is if you have, like you want to go back, it does not let you go to the other window. So you have to exit out of this in order to come to use this one. That is one way you can do this. All right, now, if you do the show and I'm gonna show you on this right here now when we run the application and we click button it brings up our new window but now we can go back and click on this and click on button again and it just creates page after page after page so from there you have to kind of distinguish of what you want is you gonna have like say a message box pop up all right now uh, and this your window is gonna be a message box you cannot continue with any other application unless that window is closed all right now another way that you can do it is you can open up this form and then hide this form as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in this button it's going to be 
this dot hide like so all right so when we click start you'll see that we have the main window we click the button and that main window disappears and it goes to window one all right and you're probably wondering what this button is right here I'm fixing to get to that here in just a second and then you have your exit button which also causes a problem and that's what we're going to address right now <clears throat> all right because when you press the exit button it is suspended in the background now what I'm going to show you how to get around that now in your XAML button we're gonna go to the click event all right and we're gonna call the main window MW equals new main window and then it is going to be MW dot show like so all right now the same thing is we want this to hide so this dot hide all right now what this does is this keeps a process running in the background all right so when we start this we have our button and you see it goes back and forth between main window and window one but whenever you close the main window you see that it still has everything all the processes still running in the background so what you need to do is you need to terminate those processes all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to window one and then we're going to go to the uh, closed portion and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this copy it we're going to paste and then we're going to put this as dot close all right and you can do the same thing here so there's no running processes you can do closed as well now you have two buttons that is going to take you back from button to button and you see it opens another window which is going to cause some problems so when you're doing it this way is doing a button versus button there's going to be some problems so if we click on the button then we click exit and then we click exit it's still going to have a lot of background uh, problems with it so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to leave this to hide and we're going to change this to hide and we're going to take care of the hidden processes in the main exit code of the application so if we notice we click button button we have no duplicates coming up all right now when we press the exit button you see that it comes here then we press the exit those processes are still in thread running in the background all right so how we how are we going to get rid of that okay same thing we go to the closing portion and then we are going to put uh, a simple modified and it's going to be oh in the uh, YouTube video just uploaded by the way uh, it's going to be system dot windows dot application dot current and then it's going to be shut down now what this does is this causes an overload to where it suspends all processes of the application and it shuts it down okay and that is what we're going to look at now so when we start the application 
you have your main window, so we go button, 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 button. There's no duplicates, it changes between pages. And then when you click exit, you go to the main window here. So as you see, there's no problems between it. And then on the main window, when we press the exit button earlier, it stayed suspended with processes running in the background. This time, whenever we press exit, it kills all processes in the background. And this is what you want to do when you're going from page or window to window to window to window. And this is how you go from one window to the next without creating duplicates or anything like that. If you have any questions, uh, email me and I will get to, uh, get to it as soon as possible.